Welcome back, you guys. The saga continues. What can I say? So I wake up this morning and someone has sent me some videos that uh, I need to take a look at because the, the, the saga continues, you guys. I pointed out in one of the videos that I did yesterday that um, the wheat that was being shown in the video was actually barley. It's the same case here. Same case. And, and we're going to take a look at that video because the young man says a few things in there that are indicators. Just like there's confusion with the Christians and the Hebrews on our side, um, and, and especially here in, in the states that are looking for truth in the um, in the feast, Becker Biederman in Israel does the Abib every year and has this back and forth with the Boers, uh, the Boers, um, the Bora, and um, forgot the other one. There's three of them over there that looks for the for the Abib. And every year there's controversy whether or not the Abib is, is in yet, which is crazy because it splits our calendar up. You'll have people one month ahead of us, on track with us, and one month behind us. And so all that time, these three groups are arguing whether or not it's a B or it's Passover time, okay? And I submit to you that th the same thing is happening with um, this young man. And I want you to pay attention very closely to what he says. And then we're going to look at the wheat fields, the wheat fields that he's talking about here, okay? Keep in mind, this is what a wheat field looks like when it's ready to harvest. It's not laying all over the place in all different directions. Um, it, looks, it looks like this. What we're about to see is not wheat. Even though he calls it wheat, he's looking for the abib. And he says that in his video, that he's looking for abib. Now, I suggest to you, that he's just as confused as the Christians are here in, in America because he's looking for a beeb for the barley. You don't look for a beeb in the wheat, you guys. Never. You never look for a beeb. We're not looking at wheat in a beeb time. So keep that in mind. Good morning, you're all here for Hebrew and Israel, and welcome to my new little corner. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do my work from here. And what I did today is I went out to the wheat fields just to see what's going on there. And I found the harvest starting, but this is not necessarily harvest for. He found the harvest starting. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right. Harvesting the grains for the harvesting for grain, but for animal field. And what you'll see in the upcoming video. Okay, so what he's about to show you in this, this video with this field is two fields one the field's been cut and it's being prepared for baling because they're going to bale this grain for animals you guys they don't they don't do that to wheat they do that with barley okay they also if they're going to use the grain they'll let a field mature enough so that they can cut it with a harvester and and pull the grain out because they don't want the chaff. They're not feeding that part. They, they're wanting the grain. The chaff or, or the straw is in the field that you're going to see that's all cut and it's all laying down. It's getting ready to be baled up. Okay. Our two fields that I looked at, one harvested, one not harvested. And the conclusion there is that we're getting really close to wheat harvest. So anyone claim. The conclusion there is that we're getting close to the wheat harvest. I still think that he's he's talking about barley here and doesn't realize it because I do it some, sometimes too. When I mean to say wheat and I say barley or vice versa, or, or when I mean to say Shavuot and I say Pentecost, I think that's what's going on here. Claiming uh, to uh, that we're entering a V right now, they have to deal with the fact that the wheat is reaching its harvest point. So, so he's mentioning the argument that's going on in Israel right now about the Abib. And he says they have to deal with the fact that the wheat harvest is just starting. Okay. I uh, hope you uh, get good information out of this video. It was kind of windy. I didn't have my wind. Uh, I was just filming with my phone. And, um, but even, even with my professional cameras, it's, it's difficult to deal with the wind. 
And I hope you find this information interesting and useful. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Call it off. Show everyone your... All right, so this is the very same wheat field that Peter Michael Martinez showed a wheat field. That's what I mean. Barley field that was portrayed as a wheat field on Peter Michael Martinez's broadcast. You see how it's laying all on the ground? They just cut it to the ground. That's a big indicator. That's a big indicator of what this is. They don't, when you, when, when they cut this field, it does not look like this. Okay. It, it's little, little stumps of shaft left all through the field because the combines come through and they cut. It's a clean cut. And all the chaff is kind of ground up. It's, it's made into like a, you know, smaller bits. And it's blown back into the field on the combine. What you see here is what's called a baler's cut. This is all going to be baled up for animals. And he tells you that this is not a wheat field. Even though he says it is, it's not wheat, you guys. Well, here for Hebrew and Israel, I'm in the Zvulun Valley. You can see Mount Carmel all the way down the back and Haifa over there. Basically my usual places that I uh, go around in my everyday life. And uh, so as you can see, this is a harvested field. Um, I inspected some of the uh, what's going on here in the area. I looked about, I don't know, about 10 fields, I would say. Uh, this is a wheat field that has been harvested. You guys... I humbly submit that this young man does not understand which grain that he's looking at. Okay? Just like I've been telling you in my in my videos that the only grain that's being harvested all the way up into the true shava oat because the wheat is not ready yet and it certainly does not look like this. It certainly does not look like this. It's just getting into harvestable grain. <clears throat> What's coming to a conclusion is the barley harvest. And I submit to you, you guys, that we're looking at barley here. That's barley. See how that grain looks a little different than this grain? It is brown, but see how it's kind of loose and, and the heads are, are bending over? That's because it's barley. And if you look <laughs> at Becker Biederman one month ago in the same fields, because she's still looking for a bee. See how that field is? Let's, let's go back to, to this field. See that grain there? It's the same kind of grain that's in this field right here. This is barley. Wild barley, okay? And this was one month ago that she's in this field. See what that looks like? See how it's all growing wild and crazy? Wheat, if you look at this right here, wheat that's planted and made for into flour is going to look like this. What's, what you're seeing here is what's going to be baled up for animals, and it's barley. I'm sorry, it's not wheat. Even though he thinks this is wheat, this is not wheat, you guys. And he even says in, in the latter part of this, he's looking for the Abib. Just everything's crumbling away, and you're actually left with a grain inside. Um, using one hand here, but these are these are basically full formed wheat. See that? It's a bit small. The grains didn't grow, didn't grow that high, but this is literally. Trying to make this in focus. This is this is. Well, all this grain is. This is completely hard. This is harvest-ready wheat, which means they're going to harvest this. This, was a, this is a field that was left to mature to produce grain, no animal feed. This is a very, very large field, and they're going to harvest this for grain very, very soon. So this is, this is absolutely phenomenal. And what's even more phenomenal, this is in the north. This is, this is in the western Galilee, not too far away from the ocean. And this is a completely harvest-ready field. All, almost all, actually, 100% of the grain here is ready to harvest, ready to harvest. The claim that we are now entering the month of Aviv. Hear what he says. 
to claim that we're now heading into the month of Abib. So the argument going on over there where he is is whether it's Abib or not. Not whether or not we got wheat, even though he's saying it's wheat, because there's a lot of believers, even, even the, the Hebrew ones in Israel, that think that we're looking for freaking wheat at Abib time. It's confusion. The only grain in, in Israel that's ready for harvest is the barley, you guys. You see how those heads are, are, are hanging out, leaning over? Becca Biederman calls it, it's, it's, it's shattered. This is not wheat. This is barley. Barley, that's what wheat looks like. Yeah, I know it looks very similar, but you see how those heads are, are turning over and how these are sticking straight up? And the other thing you got to worry about in Israel is the GMO. There is GMOs in Israel. Israel and the United States are one and two for freaking Monsanto. So we got to be careful of that. So I submit to you, this is not a wheat field, you guys, and they don't cut wheat like this to make flour. All this is barley being bailed up for animals. I used to feed my cows barley. That's what we're looking at here, you guys. I appreciate you, Chris. I love you, man, but you're wrong. And so are you, Peter. Wheaton is never harvested in May. And I have proved that six ways from Sunday. Shalom to you. May you bless you and keep you guys. Look, the study continues, and then it looks like that I'm going to have to physically go to Israel next year around this time myself and get with the farmers myself over there. You guys, it, it would be no different if I had somebody who didn't know grain go out in Oklahoma and they go to a barley field and claim it's, it's wheat. This is not a wheat field, you guys. That's barley. May you who will bless you. Shalom.